Hola Libras. Welcome to your 2000, January 2020 love reading. This is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Rates, info, and email are below. Just send me an email. We can set that up. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Libros for love energies, January 2020. What do you see? What do they need to do to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to the divine for their greater good. Any messages, please, Libra? January 2020, love energies. What do you see? What do they need to know? What are the energies that Libra passed out of love energies prior to January 2020? Please show us love energies they passed out of. We have the death card here in reverse. Also, I'll be leaving a link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, an ex. And also something you do not know about them will be included in that spread, whether it's, and it can also be the person from this spread, okay? Nine of Wands in the upright, Love where the love energies for January 2020. I've uploaded all of my 2020 Sun Moon readings, all 144. They're in my playlist. Go check those out. I will leave up my 2019 Sun Moon readings. You can check those out also, see if they rang true for you last year. Two of Wands in the upright. How you, that's how you'll be moving out of January and into February. Also, ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate in a link below. All right, so what do we have here? We have the death card in the reverse for energies prior to January 2020. That's the card of Scorpio for those of you, if that resonates. Um, kind of staying in something that you shouldn't be staying in. It's stagnant. It, it, it wasn't good for you. It wasn't really, you know, it's just kind of like swirling around in this pool of, of nothing. I often think of like this stagnant pond with like the, the bugs buzzing around, you know, and, and no motion, getting through the day to day, um, not accepting that it's stagnant and there isn't any life left to it and just like hanging out, um, resisting the change from moving out of it. Um, so it, it probably is a situation you stayed in longer than you needed, to, you needed to stay in. I feel like you, you might still be in it in January because you see the nine of wands in the upright. And here I see you thinking about actually, you know, leaving this situation, possibly moving on from it. Uh, you're a little concerned about the repercussions that are going to happen if you exit this situation. Um, for some of you, you might be building up reinforcements, um, you know, being a little worried about what the other person's going to do, protecting yourself. Um, I think you're you're going through scenarios in your head, and um, I feel like you're determined to kind of get out of this. But I think you want, like I said, you want to build up your reinforcements before you go ahead and do this. Make sure your ducks in a row before you do something, so that you won't get hurt, so that you are protected from backlash or um, you know whatever's going to happen in regards to this. But this guy on here who I think many times looks like the lead singer of Sugar Ray. Um, he's, he's just kind of looking ahead, I feel like. Um, and then there's this lion back here, you know, that, that has wands in front of him also, like preventing that lion from doing anything to him. Okay, so that's where I'm getting the backlash from. And, and that lion looks a little bit kind of pissed off, like it would chew this person's head off. So I see you looking in the future, but I'm seeing you concerned like about what's over your shoulder and kind of protecting against that. Okay. Now the two of wands, I feel like is where you break out of it. This is where you kind of get into a headspace where you're like, okay, now I can start thinking about now that I've kind of lined everything up, I can start thinking about where I'm going to go from here, or if I'm going to leave this or if I'm going to stay. Because the two of wands is about making a decision. Should I stay or should I go? What are the benefits if I stay? What are the benefits if I go? And considering the possibilities you know, this guy, he's standing there like, ta-da, like he sees what's out there. Um, he has his one foot out, like he's going to start prancing, prancing out from between these two wands, but he's not doing anything. He's just looking kind of to see what's out there, um, you know, seeing what's up and, and deciding and waiting for, waiting for things to help him decide. I mean, you all tend to be indecisive characters by nature, so you might need um, some coaxing, something to come in to assure you before you go ahead and, and take the risk of exiting this, okay? So let's see what's up with this death card. Why is this death card here in reverse for Libras? Energies prior to January 2020. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is this death card here in reverse? 
official messages here. I mean, for the death card in reversed. Six of swords in the upright. Emperor card in the upright. Okay, I feel like you've communicated to this person that you have a desire to move on. Um, I don't feel like it was necessarily in a threatening way, but I do feel like you kind of said, um, I have the ability to kind of move on and take everything with me. Uh, maybe it would be a better thing if we kind of went our separate ways. Um, you know, maybe it would be better for us in the long run if we were no longer together. You have kind of thought about, you know, a better place for yourself rather than in this relationship. We have the Emperor card in the upright here. And I almost feel like this person, because I don't feel like this is you, and that's the card of Aries if that resonates, but I feel like this person is kind of like, no, we aren't. This is what we're going to do. Or they were like that. Like, no, this is what we agreed to do, and this is how we're going to do it. Nobody's going anywhere. Um, the Emperor can be a very um, authoritative type of person who kind of outlines how things are going to be um, a little bit controlling, not a control freak, but he likes things a certain way. And this person is saying, no, I think that this is how this is going to go. I think that we need to stay in these confines of what this is. And, you know, I don't think that, you know, you're going to be going anywhere or we should talk about going anywhere or doing that. Um, this, this person could also be the breadwinner, the provider, or could have been. So they could have kind of like pointed that out to you. I take care of things. What are you going to do without me? Can't you see that, you know, um, without me, you'll be lost if we were to do this. And part of them is a little bit um, about themselves. They're, they're kind of telling you this stuff, but they're, they're an egoist. They're more about the things, their things. They're not they're selfish. They're not so concerned about you or what you're doing. They're current, they're worried about maintaining what they have and keeping things the way that they are because they want to have them this way. And they're trying to block you from sort of, um, you know, moving on to something else to, you know, anything that's, that's going to free you up emotionally or what have you. So they're trying to block that. Um, so I can see why you're concerned about backlash from this person because they do seem like they like things a certain way to go a certain way and they don't like things when things don't go their way. Why is the Nine of Wands here in the upright for Libras? Love energies for January 2020. Who is this person? What is this energy? Justice card. There's your card. Okay, some of you in January might actually start legal proceedings in order to make this happen. File the docu legal documents and everything you kind of need um, to get this rolling. Uh, some of you might actually be just figuring out the fairest way to handle this. Remember, you didn't want you don't want any repercussions or any backlash from this person. So you're trying to figure out what the balance would be for that. You know you have to do what's right for you, but you're trying to see, well, maybe there can be a positive outcome out of this so that this person doesn't feel like I treated them unfairly and they don't they're not um, resentful or what have you. We have the temperance card here in reverse. Um, which is the card of Sagittarius, but ultimately I think you feel like this person is a little bit imbalanced. I feel like if you sort of make a decision, it's going to be hard to make them see that it's for the best because this person has an inability to see that this is, this is a positive thing. Um, they have a, they they tend to be very negative when it comes to thinking or just you know in general um, anything you kind of bring to them, and this kind of has you in sort of a mental prison here. Um, you know, restricting you, uh, really kind of saying, well, I can't possibly leave this um, because this person's going to be like this. I mean, I do see you trying your best to kind of, but you have to realize you can't make everybody happy. Sometimes you have to make yourselves happy. Um, that's another, that is a, a um, trait that you guys all have almost to a flaw. You're more concerned about how other people are going to be. Are they going to be happy? Um, you know, but I think you can't make everyone happy and sometimes you have to look out for number one. So um, this person has you in a mental prison making it seem like you can't leave when in fact you can because it's all in your mind. Um, they're just trying to keep you stuck or mentally affect or they're mentally affecting you so you feel stuck. Why is this two of wands here in the upright for Libras as they move out of January into February, and I'm getting what if, like the two of wands, like what if I did this, what if I did that, um, what are the possibilities, what if things were different, 
And you're only thinking about it because this person has a side to them that they can be really mean. They can say some really crappy stuff. Um, they can really be, if they don't have things go their way, they can be bitter and vengeful, kind of what we're talking about. They'll attack you. Um, but you kind of realize that the only way that you can... You can cut your mental state can get better or you can be better is to choose you. So this nine of swords, um, I feel like you're avoiding, um, you know, you don't, you, you, you come out of it. You know that no matter what this person throws at it, at, at you, it's really fear based. It's not a reality. You know, it's in your mind so you can come out of it. You know, you will recover from this. Um, it's going to suck, but you're going to be able to do it. Um, three of Swords it doubly indicates to me that you are going to be able to move past this. That you know that you're going to be able to move past this. It's just physically taking the steps to do so. Um, to move on from this situation and heal from this situation. That you will recover no matter how much they kick up their heels. So even though you aren't necessarily doing anything action-wise, um, like stepping out the door action, like physical action, I feel like you're considering the possibilities and that's what's kind of allowing you to dream and get to the other side of this, okay? So if this resonates, consider a personal reading, just send me an email and or click on the Vimeo link below. That's where I'm going, where I'm going to be um, looking into what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, an ex, a soon to be ex, or this person. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.